Hello, this is Tofman Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Neon Text add-on. It's not like the GeoSign add-on that I showcased a few months ago. This one only has to do with text, at least the version that I'm using is an older version, it's version point one, I think. The newer versions of the add-on, um, it introduces images into the add-on, but uh, still pretty much the same um, as this one, except for the images. But I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can check it out yourselves and uh, download it. But once you've downloaded it onto your system, uh, just go to Edit, Preferences, uh, click on Install, navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system, click on that, and then click on Install Add-on. Let me type in Neon, as you can see it was already up, but let me type it in again and put check in the box and it's activated. It says it's for Blender 3.0 to 3.2, uh, but I've used it in 3.4 and it's still the same kind of uh, result. And it's not a free add-on, it's uh, an add-on you have to pay for, but uh, you have to just check out the price yourself. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but the way the add-on works is it's a little bit different. Um, once you've uh, uploaded it into Blender, I'm using Blender 3.4. It's on the right-hand side of the UI, which is the toolbar, and here it is, just a simple setup. And this only renders and works in Eevee, doesn't work in Cycles. So we're going to change our viewport to Eevee, clicking on that icon there. And let's make sure that we have our settings we want them to be. Let's turn on Ambient Inclusion and Bloom. We want to see it because the Bloom really helps with the uh, light, so to speak, of the neon uh, aspect of the add-on. And we're going to go to our world settings and turn it to like a black color so that the uh, text really stands out. And there we go. With our cube selected, we're going to press delete on our keyboard to get rid of that. If you click on this thumbnail, you have at least 20 plus, 20 plus texture presets here. Only problem is whenever you import any of these textures or any of these presets of the text themselves, they don't come in looking like the text. And I've tried it in 3.2 and 3.0, uh, 3.2 actually, and then 3.4, and it's still the same results. If I click on this one and turn to one, this is how it comes and they all come in looking like this. I've contacted the developer to ask him why don't the uh, imported text represent the thumbnail and he hasn't gotten back to me yet so I don't know why but that's just the result now. But if you're using this add-on and you come across this issue, a uh, simple fix. Just click on have that uh, imported text highlighted and then go to this uh, the side tab and click on that icon, the A, because this is the the data properties of our text here. Left click on that. And then with Blender, <clears throat> Blender doesn't automatically download the fonts uh, that are on your computer. You gotta do that manually yourself, which hopefully Blender will change that as time goes on. But go to the font, left click on that from the drop down menu, click on that folder. And then on the side panel of this pop-up menu, you'll see fonts there. Click on that. And this will navigate you to the fonts that are already on your system. If you left click on that, open font. Now we can see that the font changes with the font we just chose. Now if you click on this folder and this pops up and your folder or the pop-up window looks like this. Just click on the different displays here for the way you want the uh, pop-up aspects of your menu to, to be displayed. So I left click on that one, which is the largest size um, when it comes to what's in that pop-up menu. That way you can see what you're picking. You can click on any one of these open fonts. That's not exactly the way that one looks, but just click through and just see which ones you like. And most of these, the fonts, Blender can read and understand. Let's left click on that one, open font, and there you go. The ones you click on that actually are imported into Blender are the ones you can use. So that's the kind of 
um, issue that this add-on has, but it's an easy fix that, as I just showed you. And the um, the uh, parameters are just simple. You can change the color, the strength, and the blend. Click on that, and then from the pop-up menu of the color wheel, you can change it to blue, change it to green, purple, whatever color you want. You can increase the strength of it and the blend. Which, in, which if you turn it down up to one, the blend is zero. Turn it down to zero, your emissions from your text gets brighter. So it's not a bad add-on. It just needs to be polished a little bit more. Uh, but besides that, it, it works okay. So that's today's Blender Quick Tip. Um, hopefully you guys will download it and just check it out for yourselves. Like I said before, just go through your fonts, manually uh, add the fonts yourself. And you get some pretty good results. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I uh, hope you guys pretty much uh, make use of it. And once again, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.